what's up everybody I want to show you guys how to make some finger mullet rigs I know I've seen a lot of places where a lot of a lot of people have asked is there any way they can make them and they're very easy and we'll show you how to make two different types and we'll show you how to make the type where you got the steel wire and the treble hook permanently installed in the back where you go through the back end of the finger mullet and out the mouth you can make them with a the treble hook or you can make them with a with a single hook Single hook, a lot of people like those, so they don't have to fight with the teeth of the bluefish or whatever you're, you're targeting. Also, I'm going to show you how to make the other, other type, which I like the best. You're going to go through the mouth of the finger mullet and out the back end, and then you're going to get a treble hook that attaches to, to the back eye. You can get it at any uh, saltwater fishing store. You can get them online. I think you can get like a pack of three for a dollar, something really cheap. All you're going to need is a coil of steel wire, which you can get at Lowe's or any Home Depot. You get 50 foot for like three bucks, something real cheap. And then you're gonna need float. I always get the pear shaped floats, whatever color you, you want. I always get the white with the red. And then you're gonna need some fluorocarbon. This is just extra, I'll show you guys what to do with that. First thing you're gonna do, get your steel wire. Pull off enough. Catch wire cutters. Catch a piece. Get your wire, you're going to straighten it out. You're going to straighten it out the best you can. Alright, once you get it, get it kind of where you want it, you're going to make a loop. This is going to be for the eye. Keep straightening it up. Make it small for the eye. Just keep working it around until you get it the size you want. I also use needle nose pliers where you can hold it and bend it around too. That makes it easy. Once you get the size of eye you want, you got it straight. Your end's going to be straight up and down, and then you're going to coil it over. I always do, try to do three to five loops. That's two. And it's going to make it tight. It's, it's pretty simple. It's not real the hard wire. All right. So that's what you got right there. I'm going to cut off the excess. Hopefully my wife's not going to be too mad because I just shot her across the room, but maybe we'll find out later. If not, vacuum. Alright, then you're going to bend this down so you don't have a sharp end. It's ticking up. I don't know if you can see that. i got a little bit of excess left. I'm going to get the needle nose pliers on it. I'm going to bend it straight down so it's flush. Okay. Now that it's flush, you're going to slide the treble hook on there to whatever distance. I always make them about six inches. So that, that's going to that's be pretty close. Everybody six inches is a little different, I guess. This is going to be good enough for me. Hold it with your pliers. I don't continue to stick myself. And you're going to get it to the size you want it. I like to get it so I got a little bit of play. You don't want to make it too tight where you treble hook the stiff on there. And then, once you get it, you're going to do like you did before. You're going to hold it and do five wraps. And then you're going to cut off the tag end. Stop right there. You get the point. You do three to five. 
Straighten it out. Get it kind of straight. straight and then you're going to wrap it three to five. And this is going to save you some money because I know we really use finger molar rigs a lot here in North Carolina targeting bluefish in the surf, especially larger bluefish and also red drum. Caught a bunch of red drum off of it. Um, so they come in handy. Normal finger molar rig would probably cost you about four to five, four to five dollars. Um, with this, you make make it for about 75 cent a piece, I guess. All right, so you get it cut. You take your needle nose pliers. You crimp down this tag in. All right, next thing. A lot of people don't like to use beads, but for this, you definitely want to use a bead so your fork don't slide over your eye. Try to get a larger bead. Slide it in like so. Then you're gonna get your float. You're gonna slide it up. So now you got that. Next thing you're gonna do, go about six inches wherever you want. However, however long you want to make yours, you can make any size you want. You're gonna bend it, make an eye, get your needle nose pliers on there. You wanna make this eye kind of small, but you wanna be able to get your hook in there as well, but you don't want to have any trouble going through that finger mullet's body also. So that'll be perfect. Three to five wraps. Normally I make it a little tighter. I'm trying to get this, get this over a little quicker. So, All right, there you go. Like I said, usually this is going to be tighter. And it's going to be cinched down to make it pretty. All right, so then you'll cut the excess off. Try not to shoot this across the room. All right, so you got that. Again, you're gonna crimp this down so you don't have any excess wire sticking up where it could stick you or anything else. You gotta crimp it down. All right, so once you crimp it down, there you go, you got another finger mullet rig. It's gonna go through the mouth, out the back end. Your hook that you buy from your, your tackle shop or online. Just like a normal finger mullet rig, it'll go in there, snap on, man, there you go, looks good. And that's it. Also, if you want your keeper hook, like on this, you're going to cut some floor carbon, tie whatever size hook you want on there, you're going to run it up through the float, through your bead, 
and you're just going to tie a knot to the eye. Once you get your knot tied, you got your keeper hook on there. And man, that makes a huge difference. All right, the next video I'm going to show you guys is um, how I like to rig them. There's different styles and different ways to rig them, so check out the video. And, uh, thanks for watching.